Nutrient Pollution Impact Nutrient pollution is when too many nutrients build up in water, causing algae to grow quickly. If the water has too much phosphorus and nitrogen, this type of pollution is more likely to happen. L. Thanks for joining Dynamic Earth Learning. Our content covers interesting earth science, conservation, and sustainability topics. Visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and e-learning courses. What is a nutrient? A nutrient is any chemical substance that helps living things grow and get food. A plant or animal must get enough nutrients to stay alive and be well. There are a lot of important plant nutrients, but nitrogen, N, and phosphorus, P, are the two that are most important. Nitrogen and phosphorus can both make the water more fertile. Basically, this means that things will have an easier time growing the water. This, in turn, will cause a lot of algae to grow and algae can cause harm. Eutrophication is when nutrients build up over time in water bodies. It is the most common cause of eutrophication in the United States and around the world, and it is caused by a lot of different things. Types of eutrophication Eutrophication can be broken down into two main types based on the source of pollution. Cultural eutrophication if you see this type of eutrophication, it is the most common one. It happens because of what people do. People can pollute water intentionally or unintentionally by putting harmful substances into water bodies. Cultural eutrophication can happen in both salt water and fresh water. This is true for oceans, rivers, ponds, lakes, and more. This type of eutrophication happens more quickly than the other kind. The amount of nitrogen and phosphorus in the water may also change the length of time it takes it takes to harm water supplies. Natural eutrophication. It can take longer for natural eutrophication to happen than for it to happen through cultural eutrophication. Natural eutrophication happens when the levels of phosphorus and nitrogen in water bodies rise over time. These elements can be found in water when minerals and rocks are broken down by the elements. Natural materials from land that floods pick up can also end up in rivers and other bodies of water. As these materials break down, they give off nutrients into the water. Nutrient Pollution Causes Nitrogen and phosphorus can be found in water bodies naturally. However, some human activities can make them more likely to build up in the world's oceans, lakes, and rivers. 1. Sewage Dumping Wastewater from homes and businesses has a lot of phosphorus and nitrogen in it. A lot of nutrients can get into water bodies when sewage that hasn't been properly cleaned is flushed into them. Sewage water can increase the amount of nitrogen in water. Harmful algal blooms happen when sewage water keeps being dumped in the same place. 2. Agricultural Practices most of the world's nutrient pollution comes from the use of chemical fertilizers, and this is the main reason why. Nitrogen can be found in the form of nitrate and can be used on farms to help crops grow. Too much nitrogen could be washed away by heavy rains and end up in the water. Rivers and lakes near farms are the worst hit. Animal manure has both phosphorus and nitrogen in it. Pollution of water bodies can happen if animal waste isn't properly taken care of. 3. Fossil Fuel Combustion Because fossil fuels are burned, they are a big contributor to nutrient pollution in the world today. Fossil fuels have a lot of nitrogen and phosphorus in them. There are a lot of nitrogen oxides and phosphorus that get into the air when they are burned. Power plants, cars, and factories use a lot of fossil fuel each year to make electricity. This has a big impact on air and water pollution. 4. Stormwater runoffs. Earth's atmosphere is made up of about 78% nitrogen. As a result, it is the most common element, which means it is easy to get. People who live near bodies of water that get a lot of rain might see nitrogen and phosphorus build up in them. Over time, stormwater runoffs can pollute the water with a lot of nutrients. 5. Detergents. Phosphate-based detergents can raise the level of phosphorus in water. Some detergents also have nitrates in them. Most detergents are easy to dissolve in water. When these clean compounds are used or thrown away in the wrong way, they can pollute the water with nutrients. Eutrophication can take months or even years to happen in nutrient-polluted water. 
nutrient pollution consequences. Too much phosphorus and nitrogen in the air and water can have an effect on the world around us. Nitrogen pollution can also have an effect on people's health. 1. Effects of nutrient pollution on the environment. Nutrient pollution has caused a lot of problems for the environment over the years. It has been especially bad for freshwater bodies, causing huge algal blooms. The ocean, too, is affected. Algal blooms can make the water less oxygen-rich. This can kill fish and other animals in the water. Also, nitrogen pollution can make water less clean. Algae can stop sunlight from getting into water. So, aquatic plants can't make their food through photosynthesis, so they won't be able to do that. As a result, marine biomass may be lost. Nitrogen oxides in the air can mix with rain to make acid rain. This is because acid rain not only destroys aquatic environments, but it also pollutes the soil as well. 2. Nutrient pollution effects on human health. A lot of things can go wrong when people are exposed to harmful algal blooms, halves, like. Nutrient polluted water can cause a wide range of skin diseases. People who come into contact with HAB may get rashes on their skin and other things. Eutrophication of water sources can lead to the spread of diseases in the digestive tract. This can happen if someone drinks the water. There can be a lot of nitrogen in the air, which can cause serious respiratory problems for both children and adults. Nutrient pollution solutions, ways to prevent nutrient pollution and eutrophication. There are many ways to cut down on the amount of nitrogen and phosphorus in water. Proper use of fertilizers. One of the main causes of nutrient pollution is runoff from farming. People who grow crops can keep this from happening by using less fertilizer. Animal waste should be thrown away in the right way. This will keep phosphorus and nitrogen from getting into the water nearby, which will help keep the water clean. Reducing emissions. Energy from renewable sources, like wind and solar power, should be used instead of fossil fuel. It's a good idea for people to switch to electric cars because they do not give off harmful gases. Proper sewage management. People should make sure that their sewage is properly cleaned before it's returned to the environment. Nutrient pollution requires immediate mitigation. There are many negative effects to nutrient pollution, which can harm the environment, water bodies, aquatic life, and people. Harmful algal blooms, HABs, release toxins that can have a big impact on your health. We can keep waterways clean by cutting down on nutrient pollution. The best way to do this is to cut back on the use of phosphorus and nitrogen-based fertilizers. Thanks for joining us. Consider following Dynamic Earth Learning for more Earth science, conservation, and sustainability topics and visit our website dynamicearthlearning.com for teacher resources, videos, and environmental e-learning courses.